long have you been in the service? Um, I just made four years, July twenty six. See the cra mm -hmm. So the crazy thing about it, so you, you started in July twenty third, you said? No. I start I got I joined in July twenty sixth of twenty sixteen. So it just made four years this year. Less what it's kinda crazy. Okay, okay. Uh, and it's actually an eight-year contract, I'm not mistaken, because you got to do the reserves, too, if you opt out. No, nah, I don't have to do the reserves. I got two more years left of this contract. Okay, because uh, I was supposed to go into service. It was a six-year contract for me. Okay, okay. And, what, and what's your MOS? Uh, 42 Alpha Human Resources. See, I was supposed to be a 92 Yankee, and that was a supply specialist. That's what I was supposed to do. I was supposed to do that shit. Oh, uh, um, supply special. What is? Oh yeah, you said nineteen Yankee. I was like, yeah, I had a, a couple of friends that was a uh, ninety-two. And uh, I look at it. It's kind of crazy how my life turned out, even though that I didn't go. But it still turned out good, though. You know, we still <laughs> eating. Though. But you know, I was I I was supposed to join in twenty sixteen. Um, I remember the date. It was August 9th. I was I went to basic. I went to uh. So you went to what you talking about melts and stuff? I went to melt. I went to basic, and I went to the shit before you go to basic. What they call it? Rehearsal? Not what the shit is? Uh, huh? Reception? Yeah, reception. Yeah, I call it rehearsal. There, but reception. I had did all that. I had I had quit. I ain't gonna lie to you. A lot of niggas cap. J. Reed quit. I said this shit ain't for me. Uh huh. But I wish I would have stayed because there was a lot of bad bitches in the damn basic training. I said, God damn, I wish I would have stayed. All this ass back up. I wish I would have stayed. Well, there was a lot of bad bitches out there. I said, Lord have mercy. And everybody asked me, well, why you quit, man? Why you quit? I said, man, I got a little homesick, though. I got homesick. Yeah, yeah it come with that. It come with that. I got homesick. I had missed my mama a lot, though. Because I'm a mama's boy. I love my mama a lot. So I had missed my mama. Yeah. So, that come with a lot. That come with a lot. Especially being away from the military. I was away for like three years. I just got back to Georgia, my hometown. Really? So, so tell everybody what you had experienced in the military, like in basic training. It was different stuff, like, um, like a whole bunch of yelling, waking up early as fuck in the morning. Um, and they don't care if you sleep. They gonna come in and throw the beds everywhere, lockers everywhere. It was just like it was basically like a boot camp type thing. So yeah, yeah, they was telling me that they were saying that technically you not in the military, you in yeah, you like in boot camp. You ain't in the military yet until after like your AIT school. That's when you in actually the real real army. Yeah, I, I just couldn't take it, bro. I'm a, I'm a pussy nigga. I'm soft. I couldn't take it. I said, uh, I said, yeah, man. What my, what, send me back. Send me some back to South Carolina. I was at Fort Jackson. I said, yeah, send me back home, bro. Send me back home, bro. Hey, listen, listen, listen. Let me from? do that paperwork. Huh? Where you from? I'm from South Carolina. Oh, South Carolina. But so that's where you was. So your duty station had to be at what? Like Fort Lee or something like that? My duty, I, I ain't know my, I ain't got that man for. I, I meant your um basic training was at Fort Lee, right? No, it was at Fort Jackson. Wow, the nineteen Yankee. Yeah. I thought they go to Fort. Oh, that's for AIT. Okay, okay, okay. I, I was supposed it. to go there for yeah AIT. It said on the paperwork. I was mm -hmm. supposed to go there. I know. Well, I wish I would have went, but Lord, the women was fine in that basic training. Lord, there was so many women. Lord have mercy. God, I ain't never seen that many bitches. See, I come from a small ass town, Orangeburg. I ain't never seen all that many women. I said, God damn, this shit is like a field day. I said, oh. But I said, I couldn't take it, bro. I ain't gonna cap you. I couldn't take it. I said, ah. But after that hell week shit, I realized, you know what? This ain't for me. This ain't for me. I said, fuck that. I ain't dying for the country. I'm not getting shot. I'm not eating these sorry ass meals. This is bullshit. The military, I, I, I it ain't really huh? fair. I said the military don't really be fair, everybody. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so like, what was your mindset in basic going through all that bullshit? Because it's bullshit, pretty much. 
Yeah, it is. It was. It was just like go ahead and get it over with, and then the quicker you get it over with and go through these days, you'll be done. That was really the mindset you had to like have. You had to be positive about the situation. Cause I mean, you go two months without your phone. You can't talk to your people for two months, like at all. They'll give you phone calls here and there, but other than that, it was like very random and rare. So. Yeah, and it was kind of crazy. I remember a drill sergeant had flew into the side. He was like, you shouldn't quit because the military don't change people no more. He was like, it ain't like what it used to be is what he was saying. Like, back in the day, it used to really change a person morals. But he don't do that. He said, if a woman was a hoe before she went in there, she going to be a hoe when she get out of there. He was like, you know, so they don't change nobody. Yeah. Uh, so. I, I didn't like it. I think I lasted about two and a half weeks. I think I did about, I, I left, I left in August, and then they kept me. See, them motherfuckers were dirty. They try to make me quit, to make me graduate. I say, fuck no, where the paperwork at so I can get my release papers, so I can go to the house. So they kept me for, uh, kept me all the way to October 1st. Mm -hmm. So I was there two damn months getting paid, and then them motherfuckers slick, though, bro. <laughs> Yeah, they is. They is. So I remember they. I had signed some shit to go home so quick. I had to pay three thousand dollars back. <laughs> Ooh. But I paid that bitch back though. You no said cap. it was three thousand yeah. dollars. Yeah, no cap. So they uh, I remember one year they took my taxes. They took my whole tax shit. Damn. Uncle Sam said, "Give me that. Give me that. Sam, get that back." So. Yeah. <laughs> so what was it like growing up in your hometown, Georgia? I would say it's probably, it's pretty chill. It ain't really too much to do here. I'm from Statesboro, so it ain't really too much to do down there. But I was mostly raised in Atlanta of Clinton County. I was mostly raised there. And then straight out the high school, I really, like, went to the military. So it's like I had a childhood, but it was just – it was really normal, honestly, if you ask me. Partying, all that extra stuff at 15, 7, 15, probably like to 18. And now it's getting kind of old to me, so I don't really do all that type of stuff anymore. I do here and there on occasion, though. Hey, man, when I see you, yo, I be looking at your page, bro. I be peeping shit. I be watching, bro. You with the shits. You say what? I say you with the shits. Very much with them. Very much with it <laughs> but um there's another thing though like when you, when you was going through all that like what kept you motivated mostly like was it letters was you writing to your peoples or yeah was... I my mom um uh, see my auntie was the first sergeant there at my basic training so it's like I didn't have leeway because we had to play it off as if we wasn't kin but I had leeway so that, um, right, my sisters in them, that was really it. And then I made a couple of friends in there, so that kept, kept my mind all the time. And then um, every Sunday we would go to church, so I would go to church. This is like hoping stuff I keep off my keep like my mind occupied. Would you uh, would you have some uh, fraternizing? Did you have some uh, some entanglements and basic? I had like uh, basic training boo. That's what they call it then. Basic. basic boo. In um, basic training, and the whole time basic training, we was like messing with each other. We didn't do no extravagant shit. The most we did was probably kiss. It was probably like a pink kiss, but you know we had to sneak and do that. So, but yeah. Y'all, y'all get any quickies anywhere, nowhere? Back in them F X woods, anything at night? I remember doing that shit, doing the wood wood exercise. <laughs> Yeah. What'd you say? I said, would you doing like anything in the woods, doing them FTXs, doing them exercises? Um, besides this, digging like foxholes and shit. Other than that, it, was, it wasn't really as bad. Just when it rained, we had to still stay out there and shit like that. So it wasn't as bad. Do you still talk to your basic training boo? Um, not heavy, but he'll call once in there, here and there. Probably like you would probably go like two three months without talking, and then 
so happy to hit each other up like that. But you don't really be on no extra type stuff. Do y'all be linking up? Y'all be Yeah, we linked up. Um I wanna say like I don't even remember the month. It was a few months ago we had linked up. He came here. To Georgia? I mean he's he's from Georgia. But I happened to meet him in there. He's from Georgia. He lives in Atlanta, actually. So he ended up coming here. And Ooh. So I ended up going to Atlanta because that's where I was raised. And then we ended up linking there. And then he had an apartment in Montgomery because he's in the reserves. So he had an apartment in Montgomery. And we just rode down into his apartment just to, like, vibe and, you know, chill out and shit. But I had to talk to him in a but it ain't no bad blood, nothing. It's just, you know, people got lives and other stuff going on. In other words, he ain't worth your time right now. You're talking to other people, and you got too many options, and he ain't about that. Exactly. Well, he probably is. He probably is about his money. I mean, but. You look high maintenance, though. Are you high maintenance? Not at the moment. I wish. So you don't like expensive things? Oh, I thought you was trying to speak in code, like, am I high right now or something? No. No, no, I ain't speaking in code right now. Uh -oh. We're going to get to that, though. We're going to get to that later, though. Speaking in code, but no, I ain't high right now. But, um, yes, I love it.